Bienville Square was hit hard during Hurricane Sally. Trees were uprooted, others severely damaged. Today, there was an urgency to remove those damaged trees before the next storm moves through. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson joins us now live from Bienville Square tonight. Uh, Rachel, the square looks very different now. It does, Kim. Five trees were removed today because they posed a threat to the public. The city still has some work to do, like remove this tree stump, but they're working hard to get it done as quickly as possible. It struck me to the core to see how bad of a mess it was out here. Historical Bienville Square took a beating during Hurricane Sally. This area covered in debris. I was upset. You never expect it to happen, you know, here, like right in, especially in a monumental area. Now, arborists are working to clear out unhealthy trees in the event Zeta moves through with damaging winds. Arborist Peter Toller says the majority of the trees will be okay. Only nine out of around 86 will be gone. It's, it's different, but it's not major. And there, this leaves a ton of potential in, in the square to replant, to allow people for the next 50 to 100 years to enjoy trees all over again. So it's actually a great opportunity. New growth, new opportunities. After crews finish clearing out the bad trees, Toller says the city is going to evaluate the square and come up with a plan to plant new trees. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We want to plant trees in the right place in this square to where they'll grow as big and beautiful as the ones that are in there now. Like many Mobilians, Dylan Thomas loves to spend time here. It's a particular kind of magic we have here, and uh, I just I hope that they put enough care into it. The city says it expects to have all of this debris in the square removed by tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News.